Hi guys, welcome to this installation video. It's about Arkenlex uh, flagship, which means it's the ISO where you actually start to learn and go through the learning phases. It has XFC Openbox on i3, so you can have a taste of all these different desktops. When you boot up, you either boot up with a grub look, with a nice icon, then you know it's a, it's a sorry, a grub, I mean bias, of course. Or you boot up with something newer, and it's called uh, UEFI, or just EFI. Anyway, the thing you to remember is the first line is a standard way to go, but if you have problems with the graphics, use line number two, and it applies for the EFI as well. So it just looks different, but line one, line two. So you boot up your system. <coughs> this is, of course, in VirtualBox. And something has changed, hence the video, okay, how to install Linux these days. It's March 2021. The extra thing that is now on the flagship and Arcanix D ISO is a new button. So we know, of course, Arcanix Welcome app that uh, you can update your Arch Linux mirrors, uh, maybe do something manually and run Gparted and do something to your hard disk. But this is new, the Arcanix Calamares tool. So before, that's important, before you run Calamares, you can change at this point in time one particular setting and one setting that's, that really matters. The file system is standard ext, ext4, ext4, right? But with a small drop down here, we can actually change with a safe and Calamars will now set by default riser or any of the other guys, right? PTRFS, JFS, just a save button, close, and that's it. And then you can run Calamaris and it will think, it will assume, right, that you want that file system. So that's a very, very good uh, improvement, me th I think. And um, BTRFS, for instance, is, is one of the, well, ideas to go to and, and have a look. Is that interesting for you? Because it can provide um, backups with BTRFS and then time shift and time shift auto snap and grub PTRFS as packages, it can provide more, um, let's say, a safeguard, a fail safe to go back to a certain snapshot in time. Anyway, it's entirely up to you and that's the point always, choose freedom. That's what we embrace, that we want, that's what we want to provide. So an easy tool to change it. And then of course, it's just uh, business as usual. You run the Calamaris installer and you choose your language. I prefer always to keep it in American English so everybody gets this English look and not go to my own language. And then about, that's the version we're using of Calamaris. <coughs> you either decide already to install uh, the latest kernel, so not the one from the ISO, but the one that's coming from the Arch repositories or the LTS, the hardened, the Zen, installed the Intel U-code, uh, this depends on your CPU, of course. You don't install an AMD U-code on an Intel CPU. And then we go for next. This is now by default in the sense that we do not provide any uh, drivers and we used to provide that, right? So if you, if you have issues with this particular ISO, you can always go back to the past and uh, get an ISO of January or, or before that. And anyway, the, the thing is you should try out, just pass through here, and if it installs fine, great. You, didn't, you did not need any drivers. But if the installation fails for some reason, then maybe you need something for ATI or VSA or Open Chrome. And of course, ArchWiki is there to provide you, but you need to know a little bit about your hardware. What do I have? What do I need? And it will be installed, of course, if you have internet. So these packages are not on the ISO, they come from the internet. Anything that you see here, anything that you see here will be installed in your system, right? It is like a frozen image. This is what you get. What you select more is what's coming extra. It's coming from the internet and it's 
your decision to install it, to get the ArcLinux Team Viewer or to get Zoom in there and so on and so on. So we go, let's go just quickly through all of these. You know by now probably all these applications. There's some interesting games here and our own way to install Steam. So there are no issues. And finally, you select where you live maybe. If it's not correct, you just pinpoint it. So it is correct. It uh, works with a server. If the server is in maintenance or down, then it won't work. And you change maybe the system language and the numbers and dates and all that can be changed here as well. And then most important for me anyway, it's going to Azerti. So QWERTY and Azerti are quite different. And um, I have to change here. And then the reason why this little Calamares tool is so interesting, right? Arclinx Calamares tool, VTRFS, that's what we did. Result is we have now a by default BTRFS system and all the rest still applies. No swap, we swap a little bit uh, a smaller um, swap and a big swap to hibernate and a swap to file, which we can change at uh, randomly later with a script, make it as big as we want or encrypt anything. So these guys apply as well. It's just up to you to drop down and then use the drop down and do that. So we have now a swap here and a BTRFS system there. And off it goes. You just tell the system who you are, what the name should be. You log in and up, off we go. So I'm not gonna <clears throat> wait for everything to install. That would be, uh, well, not interesting anyway. But as long as we get past one particular point, and that's this point, right? If it's, it's starting to unpack, then and it's okay, and everything will be just fine. And um, you'll have a working system later on. In this case, BTRFS. All right, guys, enjoy installing and using Arclex. Cheers.